on the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I've never been Hello, YouTubers. It's me, Michael Brewer, your friendly neighborhood gay guru, reporting to you one last time from the beautiful island of Oahu, the North Shore in Hawaii. And I want to talk to you about something, a concept that is uniquely Hawaiian, and that's called the aloha spirit. Now, we've all heard the word aloha, and we know that it means hello, and we know that it means goodbye. But actually, in Hawaiian language, it, aloha stands for more than just that, or even just love. Its deeper meaning is the joyful oha, sharing alo, of life energy ha, in the present, alo. Aloha. So, the, the sharing of joyful life energy in the present. Isn't that a great concept? As you share this energy, you become attuned to the universal power that the Hawaiians call mana. Mana is like fundamental energy that is underlines everything. You can call it the life force, like use the boss, Luke. Or it could be uh, Om, I've heard it called, or Ode, I've heard it called. I mean, there are a lot of different words for it, Chi. But the Hawaiians call it mana. The loving use of this incredible power of aloha spirit power is the true secret for training true health, happiness, prosperity, and success. And uh, I have to say, I'm reading a lot of this now. Um, I do know it by heart, but I want to make get it right. Um, the original source is Serge Kahili King, who's a well-known uh, Hawaiian Huna uh, mystical and a wise man. So I want to give credit where credit is due. The way to tune in to this power and to have it work for you is so simple that you might be tempted to put pass it off as being too easy to be true. But don't let yourself be fooled by appearances. Take the time to try it out. It's the most powerful technique in the world, and though it is extremely simple, it may not prove to be all that easy, because you must remember to do it. And you have to do it a lot. It's a secret that has been given to humanity over and over again through many cultures and religious codes. Um, this is just the Hawaiian version of it. But it's really beautiful and it's just so, so fitting for this beautiful setting in which I find myself. The basic secret to the Aloha spirit is bless everyone and everything that represents what you want. But doesn't that make sense? I mean, that's just so basic and so simple and it makes so much sense. And yet, we rarely do it. That's all there is to it. Anything that simple, however, does need some explanation. To bless something means to give recognition or to emphasize a positive quality, characteristic, or condition, with the intent that what is recognized or emphasized will increase, endure, or come into being. Blessing is effective in changing your life or getting what you want for three reasons. First, the positive focus of your mind stirs up the positive creative force of the power of the universe. Secondly, it moves your own energy outward, allowing more of the power to come through you. And thirdly, when you bless for the benefit of others instead of for directly for yourself, you tend to bypass any subconscious fears about what you want for yourself and also the very focus on the blessing acts to increase the same good in your own life. What is so beautiful about this process is the blessing that you do for others helps them as well as you. Now that's aloha. Now there are a number of ways to go about this. Blessing may be done with imagery or touch, but the usual most easy way is to do it is with words. The main kinds of blessing, verbal blessings are one, admiration. This is the giving of compliments or praise to do something good that you notice. For example, what a beautiful sunset. What a beautiful beach I'm laying on. I like that flower. You're such a wonderful person. Affirmation is a second type of a blessing. This is a specific statement of blessing for increase or endurance, such as, I bless the beauty of this tree. Blessed be the health of your body. Blessed be this beautiful island and this beautiful ocean behind me or appreciation. Interesting that all these words start with A, just like aloha. 
Appreciation, this is an exp my per personal favorite. This is an expression of gratitude that something good exists or has happened. Thank you for helping me. You're such a great person. I give thanks for the rain for nourishing the land. I'm so grateful for my partner. And then another A, anticipation. This is blessing in the future, such as we're going to have a great time tonight. I bless your increased income. I look so forward to seeing you. Thank you for my perfect mate. I wish you a happy journey on your way to me. May the wind always be at your back. In order to gain the most benefit from blessing, you will have to give up or cut way down on one thing that gates it. Cursing. Huh? This doesn't mean swearing or saying bad words. It refers to the opposite of blessing, namely criticizing instead of admiring, doubting instead of affirming, blaming instead of anticipating, and worrying instead of anticipating with trust. Whenever any of these are done, they tend to cancel out some of the effects of blessing. So the more you curse, the harder it will be, and the longer it will take to get the good from a blessing. On the other hand, the more you bless, the less harm any cursing will do. So it really behooves you to do your blessing all the time, as much as possible. Let every word for your mouth be a blessing. You can also bless for specific and various needs and desires, and you can apply these, these blessings as often as you want. You can bless healthy people animals, and even plants, everything which is well made or well constructed, and everything that expresses abundant energy. You can bless for happiness. Bless all that is good, and all the good that is in all people and all things, all the signs of happiness that you see, hear or feel in people or animals, and all potential for happiness that you notice around you. Bless for prosperity. Bless all the signs of prosperity in your environment, including everything that money help make or do all the money that you have in any form, and all the money that circulates in the world. Success. Bless all the signs of achievement and completion, such as buildings and bridges and sporting events, all arrivals at destinations of ships and planes and cars and people, all signs of forward movement and persistence, and all signs of enjoyment or fun. Confidence. Bless all signs of confidence in people and animals, all signs of strength in people and animals and objects, including steel and concrete. All signs of stability, like mountains and tall trees, and all signs of purposeful power, including big machines and power lines. Bless love and friendship. Bless all signs of caring and nurturing and compassion and support. All harmonious relationships in nature, in architecture, everything that is connected to or gently touching something else. All signs of cooperation, as in games or work, and all signs of laughter and fun. And you can bless inner peace. Bless all signs of quietness and calm and tranquility and serenity such as quiet air or still waters. All distance views, horizons, stars and moon, the clouds, and all signs of beauty and sight and touch and sound, clear colors and shapes, the details of natural or man-made objects. There are just so many things to bless. I mean, it's just really unlimited. And of course, one of the greatest things to bless is spiritual growth. Bless all signs of growth, development and change in nature, the transitions of dawn and twilight, the movement of sun and moon and planets and stars, the flights of birds in the sky and the movement of the wind and the sea. These ideas are just guidance and suggestions. They're just the things to bless in life are unlimited. Remember that any quality, characteristic or condition can be blessed. You can bless slender poles and slim animals to encourage weight loss, for example. Or you can bless every sexy guy or gal you see, if that's what you're looking for. Personally, I've used the power of blessing to heal my own body, increase my income, develop many skills, and create a deeply loving relationship with my husband. And to establish a worldwide network of peace workers working with the Aloha spirit. It's because it has worked so well for me that I want to share it with you. Please share it with as many others as you can. And uh, I wish you all the best and aloha from Hawaii. I leave with uh, a lot of joy in my heart, rested and recuperated, full of energy, full of mana, full of love for this island. Thank you, Hawaii. Aloha. Ma.